And welcome back, football fans, to another episode of the Texas State Bobcats Dynasty. I'm Stephen Thomas, and just for that alone, hit that like down below, because why? Why not? Texas State having a rough season this year. Coach Conquest trying to hold the troops together, trying to keep morale going. We lost a tough one against UCLA last week. This week, we get to take on the 3-3 three and three Arizona Wildcats. The Wildcats, though they are 3-3, three and three, could surprise us just like UCLA did. The Pac-12 was very inviting last year on our road to the championship, but this year, not so much. But let's go ahead and get to the game and do our best and forget the rest. We have a whole host of uh, recruits visiting today. This is the top three. That David Jackson is a big one that I'd love to see. Hopefully Brian Jones can uh, persuade him with passing yards. Andy Jude, a guard, would be amazing for our line. The issue is, is it's going to be really hard to rush for over 100 yards. I may have to go with uh, Zach Patrick to help out with that, but we'll see. All right, here we go. Big clear day. The Wildcats of Arizona coming in. The Bobcat Stadium. Here in San Marcos to take on Coach Conquest. There's the man, the legend himself. NCAA Coach of the Year last year. This year, he's probably going to be in the running, but I don't know about winning it. As it's been a much more difficult season for all the boys. But here come the Bobcats out on the field, ready to play. And try to get another victory and make that record look a little bit better. Right now, it's about playing for pride and playing for that uh, premier bowl game. You still want to get a New Year's Day or better game. And that's but we are here, the 16th ranked Texas State Bobcats here at Bobcat Stadium, taking on the Arizona Wildcats. Crowd chanting Texas State. David Carter launches this one, and what a kick. They will probably kneel on that one. Simmons not even going to try it. In an interesting turn of events, they showed their quarterback as the player of the game or the player to watch, and he had no touchdowns last week and only threw for a little over 100 yards. So I'm, I, I was going to say, he's probably going to be a runner, and he's going to get a lot of yards on that, 18 yards. He'll take a big hit, though, so maybe he'll think twice about running up the gut. Go hurry up offense. We're going to run it again, and we're going to be all over him on that one. He'll lose a yard. Rush back second and 11. He's going to fling that one out there, and he's got all day. Phil Harris cannot make the tackle, and finally, they push him out of bounds. It takes half the Bobcat team. Quarterback going to keep it again, but Harris is out there, and he's going to give it, and Fritz is going to hit him. Fritz causes the fumble. Schneider picks it up, and Schneider steps out of bounds. But a big turnover there, and Texas State comes up with the ball. Big hit by Fritz. To boom, popped it loose after the initial tackle there. Great defensive play. The secondary coming through there. And we start off with a big defensive play this week. We needed one of those last week, didn't get it. Here's a run around the side, and Thomas gonna get about seven on his first run of the day. They get a three here, Jones takes the ball. Thomas will scoot through, good change of play, and it's good for the first down. First and 10, another run, Thomas stays up. Thomas, Thomas, what is he doing? <laughs> he had so many moves, and he gets nine yards on it, and that's the best run we've seen of Thomas. I think he could have been gone, Look at it, one. And it's a screen pass to Thomas. Thomas gets one block. Thomas around the outside. Thomas needs one more block. Thomas gets pulled down. Oh, what a play there. Daryl Brown just couldn't throw the block. Arizona was coming. Jones just dumps it perfectly there. A little Lamar Jackson-esque. And Darren Thomas really coming to play today. First and 10. It's the little dump. They go to Dylan Lee, and Dylan Lee is going to get six yards. And he was probably the check down of the check down on that play. We'll go second and four. Oh, and that was just thrown. And Jones drops that one. Third and four. 
Burnett's going to go in motion. And they're going to go run it. And Thomas is eight up in the backfield there. And Arizona comes through and they're going to stop him here. Harder comes out and puts the three points through in an early lead for the Bobcats here at home. Arizona State and USC, a top 20 matchup going on right now in conference. We'll keep up to date on that one. So the turnover leads to three points and Texas State in good shape right now. The kickoff is down for a touchback. They go trips to the right. They're going to run again. I'll bring him down eight yard gain. So if they're going to be run heavy today, we're really going to have to adjust. Quarterback keeps it. Schneider. Oh, and Schneider got tripped up in the. He ran out of bounds. I have no idea what he's doing. Oh, we'll wrap him up there. A loss of three. Good adjustment on the defense. They quick throw it over, and it's going to go out of bounds. They'll pick up about three in the play. Third and ten, big play here. And they almost get to him, but he's got the, the Jackson beats Fritz, and that's going to be a touchdown. And Arizona strikes back, and they will take the lead. Pressure was there. Great throw, and Fritz, Fritz just let him by. Extra point is good. Arizona. Leading here. Three minutes still to go in the first. Wow, that kick goes off. Chuck Didman going to get this one. Chuck Didman looking for some room. Chuck Didman breaks a tackle. Chuck Didman throws another. He's past the 30. Jones goes in shotgun. Empty backfield. And there's a pass to Chuck Dinman. What a play. What a perfect throw and ball. And Jones just laid that one in there over top of two defenders. Gotta love it. First and 10. Hand off up the middle. Thomas tripped up. He'll get three. Second and seven. Jones rolls out. Oh, that's almost picked off. He was trying to hit Johnny Walker. And just a great slide over by the linebacker. Third and seven. And once again, it's knocked down. They cut off the route. And the secondary from Arizona has come to play. Pickett hits that one. He was demolished. They couldn't get to it, and that's going to be a touchback. After the home run ball, you got to be curious of what we're going to do here. Evans will pull him down. He'll get him gain four yards, though. So. Quarterback keeps it again, and once again, he's wide open. And another big hit, Schneider, but he'll pick up the first down. The spy just not able to contain him right now. There's a run. Oh, good Lord. Another big run. They are just running all over us right now. Back to first and ten. Tight end goes in motion. We were through, but he's going to get some yardage. Run up the middle. Schneider comes up, makes a big hit there. It'll be third down. Got to contain the quarterback here. And he's going to throw over the top, and it is caught for the first down. That's a gain of 13 on the play. Going to switch defenses here. The 0-4-2-5 just not containing them today. Oh, what a move. We got faked out so bad. Carroll picks up another first down, and Arizona about to punch it in and go up big. Oh, and he runs right into him, and that's going to be a sack. Caleb Benson getting involved. We needed that one. We needed to catch our breath. Second and 16 here. A big run up the middle, and we're finally going to pull him down. 
That's going to bring an end to the first quarter here. And Arizona dominating here on the road. It's 7-3, to three and they are pushing the score again. Third and six. Lots of receivers go out. They spread the field. Oh, no, 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 no. And he's going to scramble in there. And I knew as soon as at the first of the game they showed his terrible stats that Deion Griffin was going to go off on us, and he has. It is going to be 14-3. to three. It was such a trap believing that he had a bad game they just didn't show the right stats. Bill Harris back here. We'll take that one. Bill Harris looking for some opening and he's up past the 30. So good returns today. Just not doing much after they get the ball. No plenty of time today. And Jones is going to keep that. Oh my God, he's up the sideline. And he's dead, and what a fake play. Brian Jones holds on to it, 28-yard rush. Coach Conquest pulling out all the stops today. And that's probably the biggest run of his career. First and 10. And there's a quick brown, quick brown. It's a quick first down to Daryl Brown. 14-yard reception. A little injury report. Darren Thomas is out. And what a throw there. Burnett holds on to it for the first down. Thomas already checked back in the game. Quick throw there. There's Burnett. Going to be good for eight yards. Texas State moving the ball with ease right now. Second and two. And that's a pass. And Willie McTaggart holds on to it. What a play. What a perfectly placed ball by Brian Jones. And Texas State strikes back. What an offensive series that was. All the way down the field and just a perfect capstone throw to put six on the board. Arizona State leading USC here. Arizona State coming up on our schedule later this season. Simmons. Plain air room. Bailey's going to pull him down. Good open field tackle. He was the only one around him there. So first and ten. Snyder misses again. And TJ Manning's going to have to trip him up. But a 23 yard. And we just have no answer right now. Oh my God. Oh, and another fumble hit there. And White, Anthony White's going to pick it up. Oh my God. That's the second big hit of the day for the defense. Who did that initial hit? That was massive. Melton comes over. Holy cow. Jeff Melton, a sophomore out of Avondale, Arizona, says, Welcome home. First and 10. And Burnett again makes the catch. 16 more yards. And Texas State really starting to cook right now. First and 10. We're going to hand off to Thomas. Thomas up the gap. Thomas, big run there on the hurt knee. 14 yards. First and 10. And there's Burnett again. Burnett pushes through good for the first down. First and goal, Texas State. It blocks up the middle. Thomas picks up four. Second and goal. And Thomas is in there. The rushing touchdown puts Texas State back on top. Tough run. Another good drive by the Bobcats. And with the extra point, they'll go up three, four minutes to go till half. Carter bashes this one and Simmons again will kneel down. They spread the offense out. And a tough run up the middle. 
And they got to the quarterback. Oh, and that was almost picked off. Daryl Lumpkin was there. Pressure was coming too. Third and four. Third and four. And they sent the pressure. Oh my God, what a hit. That was Anthony White around the side and he just blew up that play. Good God. Hunt is off. Chuck Denman is back here. Chuck Denman tried to turn the corner. He'll only get about six. First and 10. Dog goes in motion. It's a handoff, and Thomas is dead to rights in the backfield. He'll lose four. Second and 14. And that was a terrible throw by Brian Jones. I've never seen him like back up and slip and fall. Third and 14. Oh, and Chuck Dimon with the one-handed catch. It is going to be short, but what a play. And Coach Conquest has actually sent the offense out. And Jones, I think he got it. They do the QB sneak, and they're going to keep the ball. He does not want to give the ball back to Arizona before the half's over. First and 10. And it's a toss, looking for a block, Thomas. And once again, Thomas, Thomas just ate up at another four yard loss. The running game all of a sudden has been figured out by Arizona. Texas State does get the ball after half. And there's Thomas again, and he'll get maybe a yard. Third and 13 as the clock ticks down. Third and 13. Burnett goes in motion. Jones just lets that one go. He had a tight end out there, Shaw, but no chance. And it's going to be fourth and 13 with a minute to go. They will punt it this time. Oh, they went after the punter. Fair catch. And they'll be at the 10. 56 seconds left, all three timeouts. See if Arizona can put something together here before the half. Oh, and he is, there is no way he threw that. That should have been a fumble. Anthony White again all over it. Oh, and they got a guy over by the out of bounds, and they get a nice throw, and that gives them some breathing room with 49 seconds left, and they don't have to waste the timeout. He's got all day to throw, and he goes short. Reset, they send three to the left. Second and 10 here. And again, he goes short. They'll pick up nine. Clock ticking. They don't call a timeout. They snap it quickly. He's going to throw. He's got plenty of room out there. And Melton's going to wrestle him down. And they finally call a timeout. 22 seconds left. So first and 10. Oh, and it was a screen, but they got to him. And he's going to lose 12 yards on that. And it's good. They'll call a timeout. 19 seconds left. They sent the house. Oh, my God. And the house made it. There's a nice throw, and he dropped it. So 15 seconds left. Arizona trying to get something going here. Third and 22. And they're about to him again. Uh-oh. And that one should have been picked up. Schneider and Melton both out there. Fourth down. Chuck Denman back here all alone. Chuck Denman, and that's going to run out the half. And Texas State will have the lead in a surprising first half. Arizona give them everything they wanted. Coach Conquest. Head into the locker room, going to draw something up. He has the lead by three and the ball. We're here for the second half. Arizona kicking off. Texas State leads by three. Chuck Dimman back to receive this one. Oh, oh, what a tackle animation. Chuck Dimman was gone if he would have got around that. First and 10. 
Thomas still going through some injuries, and he'll stay out there. First down, or first down, and he'll get a yard. Bunch him up. And there's a throw to Burnett, and Burnett is through. Burnett, the midfield. Burnett still up, and Burnett is cross midfield. Big play there. That's some yak effort if I've ever seen it. Se 78 yards on the game. My lord. A sensational route. And then he just makes something to gain more yards and make the Wildcat secondary look folly. First and 10 here. Thomas again up the middle. Thomas. Four more yards. Second and six. Daw will go in motion. Jones delivers, and Burnett with a one-handed catch. My lord, he's just serving it up in a platter today. That is two one-handed amazing catches we've seen. Holy cow, that was awesome. First and 10. We'll go a draw play, and Thomas, that was slow to form and slow to gain yardage, two yards. Second and eight, Jones under center. Quick throw, he'll hit Burnett again, and Burnett's the hot hand, and he'll get 17 more yards. First and goal for the Bobcats. First and goal, wow, they're defending that left side. It's a run, and Thomas spins, and Thomas is up. And they're close, but not in yet. Looks like they marked him out on almost the four yard line. Second and goal, Thomas. Thomas is in there for the touchdown. And Texas State extends their lead by 10. Extra point is good. And Thomas having a career day today. Not a lot of yards, but lots of touchdowns. So after the touchback, it's 24-14. 4.30 to go in the third. It's a run up the middle. And Schneider will cut him off, but that's another 10 yards and a first down for the Wildcats. We had him off their equilibrium there toward the end of the half. Let's see if we can do it again. We got to, oh my God, look at Fr Fritz! You blew it! Oh my God, and you hear the crowd get him, come on, but they do not. Arizona has silenced this crowd. A uh, blown coverage. Fritz just... Oh, it was so bad. That's two plays today that Fritz has give up. That's 14 points on his shoulders. And the crowd is just silent. And the extra point is good. It's a three-point game again. Just when you thought Texas State had took this game over. Arizona comes running back. It's just been abysmal defense. And Phil Harris gets tripped up by the shoelaces. Brian Jones gets under center, starts calling out some plays. And there's another throw to Burnett, and Burnett is just unstoppable today. 21 more yards. And a lot of these yards are after the catch. Reset back first and 10. And Thomas, Thomas got some blocks. He made a good move and he'll get around four yards. It was almost going to be for a loss. Second and six here. There's another good throw. Oh, and Chuck Didman. Oh, he hit him like right in the helmet. No call. Incomplete pass. Y'all will go in motion here. And there's Daryl Brown, and he's going to get enough for the first down. So the receiver's coming up big today. Brian Jones just able to throw it where he needs to. First and 10. Nope. Oh, and that screen pass batted down. The lineman says, no, 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 no. Second and 10. Thomas looking. Thomas not finding anything. Maybe getting a yard. Third and long. It'll be a big play here. Third and nine. And they left Burnett open. <laughs> and we took the quick yardage in the first down. Burnett over 150 yards today. Play 
First and ten. They do a draw run, and Thomas is up the middle. Thomas, good run there. He'll pick up 11. First and goal. They fake the handoff, and Jones throws it. Chuck Dittman brings it down. What a throw. What a catch. Crowd chanting USA, Texas State, and Texas State gets another touchdown. Texas State with the extra point goes up 10 again, but can the defense hold? Arizona State and USC still close in the third quarter. We go first and 10. Texas State defense. Jesse Burchard, the coach, has got to do something here to slow him down. It's a gain of three on the run. Coach Conquest pretty open with letting both of his coordinators do things. And Lumpkin's going to stop him there. He held on to the ball, third and one. I feel like they're going to run the same exact play. Yeah. Well, they're going to get the first down on that one. I've got to quit hitting that camera button. Because when you flip the camera like that, it changes your controls. Quick throw, and Lumpkin is all over him. The second and three now as they run back, do the hurry-up offense as they have the whole game. And that's a quick throw, and Morris, Anthony Morris, will push him out. Third and three. Texas State bringing the pressure, but he gets the throw. And that was Fritz on the coverage again out there. First and ten. Run of five yards, Stevens. He's also picking up the yardage today. Executive five. Another big run and another first down, first and 10. We cannot get to him wide open out there. Snyder pulls him down, but it's gonna be first and goal, my Lord. I have absolutely no faith in our defense keeping them from putting this in. And I was right. Easy run in. Arizona puts more points in the board. And the Bobcat defense is just non-existent right now. Two big plays earlier in the game, or this could have been a really cattywampus score. But since then, it has been absolutely nothing. It's once again a three-point game as we get ready to go into the fourth. Bill Harris. Looking for some blocks. Phil Harris pushing through. First to ten here. And there's a run, but three yards. Second and seven. And that should be wide open, and he's got Daryl Brown. Daryl Brown down the sideline. Great coverage, and we're going to end the third quarter with a 72-yard snipe. And Texas State strikes quickly. Just a perfect move on the outside. Brian Jones knew he had him. The corner just doesn't even keep up with him, and nobody is catching Daryl Brown in full sprint. And just like that, it's back to a 10-point game. But again, can the defense do something? The so one second left in the third. We'll have one play here. We, oh my God. I don't know why it went to Fritz. Fritz looks stupid on that play, but that was all me. 19 yards on the rush. Stevens over 100 yards. We're going to go to the fourth quarter. It's a 10-point game, but... Does that even matter at this point? First and 10. Oh, Manning was right there. We'll slow him up. He'll still get six yards. It's sad you say slow him up and he only gets six. I mean, the dude's averaging seven and, seven and a half almost a carry, so. 
I would love. Come on, Manning. Come on, Manning. Oh. I feel like our defense is just out of juice right now. I don't know if we can get to the quarterback. Oh, we got him, but they're going to give him the first down. Shoot. We're going to another first down. They're at midfield. He got hit by three Bobcats. Holds on to it. Second and four. We, oh, is that encroachment? Or did they jump? False start. Offense. Finally, we get a play that slows them down. <laughs> Still second down. Love to see it. We're second and nine now. Get him. Come on, Frank Rankin. Yes. There we go. Third and ten. We got to stop him here. This is a big play. They may actually go for it here on fourth down. They're going to run it. And we're going to stop him, but he almost got it there. Fourth and two. They are indeed going for it here. And they ran. We were blitzing. They ran and uh, get us off guard. And again, I think it just could, I think our defense is just spent. Oh, we're going to get a big hit there. And as soon as I say that, TJ Manning, the middle linebacker out of Kingsville, comes through on the sack. Oh, they're not calling it a sack, just a tackle for a loss. What? I'm going to bring out the 425 again just to try to get some different personnel out here. Oh, man, we almost had a big play there. I don't know who dove across. I'm going to guess Fritz. Third and inches. Oh, he tripped, but he got through. He holds on to it. It's first and goal. Clock is ticking, though. I don't even know at this point. First and goal. And we come through it. Oh, my God. TJ Manning blows that play up. Tick, tick, tick goes the clock. Second and go. And once again, we blow it up, and that was Frank Rankin on that one. Third and goal, clock ticking, and they're going the wrong way. He brought the lineman with him. That was a hold. Spread the field out a little bit. Third and goal, this is important. Pressure coming, pressure picked up, and Manning knocks him out of bounds, and they don't get in. So they'll probably take the field goal here. No, they're going for it. I really thought they would have took the field goal and went for the onside kick, but they're going to do it the other way around. Oh, and he drops it in the end zone, and that could be detrimental to Arizona's cause. They had the play, they had him, and he just couldn't hold on to it. Oh, he should have had that too. The 3.23 left in the game. Thomas rushes for three, a couple of first downs. They'll soak the clock, I'm sure. Second and seven. The handoff, Thomas, he's wrapped up. They'll get a couple more, third and short. Third and four. And that's a quick throw, and Chuck Didman breaks away. Chuck Didman gets it, and that's a first down. And they'll call a timeout. First and 10, and they're running on the outside. Thomas, Thomas needed one more block. He'll get two and another comp timeout called by Arizona. Jones comes out second and eight and they fake the handoff and he's gonna deliver that and Daryl Brown again at midfield makes the catch. And that's the last timeout for Arizona and Coach Conquest looks very comfortable right now on the sideline. Now, if we were smart, we would try to get our rushing, but I don't think we can get 150 yards rushing. Not with that. I may actually put in uh, Zach Patrick to try to run here. Minute 35 left in the game. I mean, the game's taken. We got Zach Patrick back here. We'll see if he can get some yardage with him. And the answer is no. 
Should be the final play of the game if my math is right. We're going to hand it off. Zach Patrick again, and Zach Patrick gets no blocks. So it's not just the starter. And it looks like there is a difference in the game clock. We'll come out and run it down as far as we can. And Zach Patrick on the outside edge. Zach Patrick. Zach Patrick, he's not going to get there. He will pick up some yards. And three seconds left in the clock. A chance for them to just heave it. Even if they do, the game would be over. It would be a closer score line. But, but it looks like we do let them make the catch, unfortunately. But that's going to be your game. Texas State is going to escape this craziness. I don't even want to look at the defensive stats because they're ugly. We usually just pay attention to the tackles and stuff, but I just hate to see the yardage we give up. Brian Jones is your player of the game. Three touchdowns by the air, over 250 yards. So we did get that goal for the recruits. We did not get the rushing one. We were 20 yards short of that, unfortunately. Final score here from San Marcos, Texas State 38, Arizona 28. We gave up 304 passing yards today and 510 total yards of offense. That is embarrassing. Brian Jones goes 20 for 23 today. Excuse me, 20 for 27. 360. Whoa, I was way off on the yardage. 363 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions, 74%. The man was on fire, but it was just overshadowed by the uh, horrible defense of the Bobcats. Darren Thomas, 24 attempts today, 79 yards, just uh, two touchdowns. They were short touchdowns. He just, uh, I don't know. It's just rough for him to uh, do it. We did get Zach Patrick in there at the end just to see what he could do. He did have one long run of 12 yards. John Burnett and Daryl Brown roasted the defense today. 153 yards on nine catches for Burnett. He did not get a touchdown, unfortunately. Daryl Brown did, 121 yards. Touchdown for him. Chuck Denman also 52 yards and a touchdown. And Willie McTaggart, a seven-yard catch for him for a six. Brandon Fritz is somehow your defensive player of the game, but he give up 14 points. I just, eight solo tackles. Yeah, that's great. I just, I cannot be happy about that. It just, uh, it hurts my feelings. Caleb Benson had both sacks on the day. Good for him. And the fumbles today were by Melton and uh, Fritz. Okay. I guess I have to be nice to Fritz. Anthony White and Terrell Schneider picked up those. Kick returns today were, look at the averages, 27 and 26 yards. You cannot be mad about that. All right, we had two level ups. Our defensive coordinator leveled up, and so did uh, Conquest, which is uh, few and far between. So we'll jump to those in just a second. Bobcats improved to 6-2. Arizona is unhappy with their poor showing against Texas State. I think they had a great showing. If anybody should be upset, it should be our defense. I'm pretty sure our defensive coordinator leveled up the other day. Like, I don't understand why he's leveling up so much. Yeah, we did this ball burglar where they could catch in traffic and stuff. I think I'm going to do another one of those because I, I don't know what else we would need. We don't need tackling or pursuit. Well, maybe. But I'm going to go ahead and get this. I want him to be able... Wait, what? Okay, the game lied to me. It literally sat there and said that he leveled up, but I guess it was the point before that we did. Okay, Coach Conquest, we've already got Insta Commit. Pipeline doesn't matter. Unlock one recruit. I'm not, I'm not really worried about that. We've done everything we want to. Uh, ice into kicker, you know, that's fine. Road Warriors, no controller vibration. That doesn't really bother me either. But that's all we really have to work on. I'll just do this. No more, no more kicking. Nothing bothers your kicker. Nothing. All right, I'm going to go ahead and push it to the next week because I want to see what happens in recruiting, and I also want to see who won that Arizona State-USC game. Well, upon further investigation, Arizona State put a spanking on USC. And that's funny because this week, guess what? We take on Arizona State University. Bobcats brace for weekend. Texas State-Arizona State is one of the many great games on tap this Saturday. Big game coming up. Kirk is picking us. They are number three in the country in points per game. Our defense has definitely not been on tap here lately. We're good at pass offense. They're great at total offense and rushing. We're number one in the country in rushing defense. But again, 
we've not been playing well this year, so who knows? That is, uh, that is a big game coming up. That is to help us get back into the top 10 and probably a piece of the Pac-12 title since now USC has lost. <laughs> Lots of big... <laughs> this, is, this is exciting. I don't even know what to think about this. Looks like recruiting. I'm going to have to go in here and work on that and do so, but I will do that off screen. But as always, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the game. Make sure you hit that like button. God bless. And don't forget to always, always make good decisions out there. Special thanks to these December Patreon members. If they were a Jeopardy tournament, I'd enter them and hope to finish first. Azure Rain, James Matisse, The Least Expected, Party Commissar, Nicholas Absher, Critias.